From the very first day, Robert Hooke looked through the microscope and observed what he called cells. Biologists have studied these small structural marvels. All living things are made of cells. Cells are the most basic unit of structure and function in living things. Cells come from previously living cells. This is the basis of the cell theory. There are no living things, or once living things, that are not made of cells. Living things all have a genetic material made of DNA or RNA. The genetic materials control all activities of the cell. As seen in this picture of human DNA, the genetic material is primarily organized as chromosomes. Genes are segments of DNA located on the chromosomes. Humans have a total of 46 chromosomes containing thousands of genes. The chromosomes of the person illustrated here is that of a male. All living things require energy to make life activities happen. The energy for life comes from a series of complex and highly regulated chemical reactions. Together, these chemical reactions are referred to as metabolism. The metabolic reaction used to make the soldier march is called aerobic respiration. Another important series of chemical reactions allow plants to change solar energy into food energy. We call this example of metabolism photosynthesis. Living things grow and develop. Growth comes from an increase in the number of cells. An adult person has more cells than an infant. Development refers to the changes that occur in the form of a living thing during its lifetime. As a person grows, they also develop. Human males gain more muscle mass, have a deeper voice, and develop facial hair as they get older. This is development. Living things have the ability to respond to changes in both their internal and external environment. This is called homeostasis. Even Tiger Woods has to sweat when he gets hot. When he sweats, heat is pulled away from his body as it evaporates. This helps him maintain his temperature at a normal 98.6 degrees. All living things can reproduce. This means they have the capacity to make more of their own species. Some reproduce sexually, like rabbits, while some reproduce asexually, like bacteria. Without reproduction, the species would become extinct in one generation. Species have the ability to change over time. This is called evolution. Individuals within a population have special adaptations that help them survive and reproduce more efficiently than others in the same species. If the environment changes and the species is not adapted to that environment, it will go extinct. Dogs adapted to being domesticated and are evolved from wild wolves. 